What is up guys, ATV back with another video and uh, this is part 3. Uh, if you watch part 1 and 2 then you'll know where we stopped off at this time. And uh, a lot of people have been wanting to see part 3. So I decided to upload it on Monday where no one's going to have school. So yeah, you can watch it when you're going to bed. Whatever, I don't care. Your choice. So let's get right into this video. Let's start the intro and let's keep it. Bitch, put the money long as six mile, break mile, knock your ass down, pick her up, knock her back down, pull her tracks up. Yes, I slam, girl. Yes, I slam. So her parents pull up and uh, they're coming in the driveway and she rushes me outside and I'm hiding in a cabin. So she's in there talking to her parents and uh, she tells me that she's going to be out in about 10 minutes. Okay. 10 minutes goes by. She, I text her. She still hasn't. Um, answered me and it's kind of getting annoying so I'm like hmm, I'm kind of hungry so me and Kobe and Jaime we go to this Mexican restaurant uh, lives kind of by her house so we go there I'm paying so what I get to eat at the Mexican restaurant is some enchiladas Kobe gets some enchiladas Jaime gets some enchiladas Jaime been saying his stomach's been hurting and uh, he's not gonna eat his enchiladas he's just gonna save them all right so the enchiladas come out and uh, I don't eat mine. Kobe eats his. Kobe wants some of mine after eating all his. And uh, Jaime goes to the restroom. And uh, I need to go to the restroom too, so I just learned, I just went with him. Um, a lot of people were looking at us crazy. Three kids paying for their own food. They were looking at us crazy. Jaime goes in the restroom. He throws up. It was crazy. And after that, we got we paid our food. We got the some enchiladas in the to-go box. We went back to uh, Clarissa's house. Going there, we um we got there, and we kind of tried to find a cabin that we were gonna stay in for the night because we knew we were spending the night. This is not the one we're gonna stay in. At the end of the story, we stay in this one for a little bit. We put our enchiladas, we put our like phones and all that in there, and then Clarissa comes back out and uh, asks us. Do we want anything to eat? I'm like, we just ate, but you know, you can get us some food if you want. So she goes back in the house and uh, about two hours later, she comes back outside and uh, she comes into this other cabin that we officially picked that we wanted. And so she comes in there and it's just, it's like a weird level cabin. Okay, so this is the cat. Okay, big old square. This is where me and, this is where me and Clarissa were and Jaime and Kobe were like up these stairs where you can go into the cabin. It was pretty cool. And so me and her were just down there making out and stuff. And uh, so she says she wants to go back inside around uh, 12. It's 11.30. 12 passes by and uh, she still went inside. One o'clock passes by. We have been making out for two hours. We haven't stopped. So it was really weird, like, I look, it's been a minute. How long? And then two o'clock passes by. She says she has church today. She wants to go home. But and then I'm like, all right, a goodbye, a goodbye kiss. That goodbye kiss lasted about three hours without stopping. And just things were going down just for a long time. That's all we did for like six hours straight kiss. And then like okay six o'clock rolls by and she finally goes home but it was going down like for a long time and so my freaking nuts hurt like i don't know what it is i got some blue balls or something because my like they hurt i don't know what the i don't know what happened but they hurt so i'm thinking about going home because i feel like i need some surgery on these things like they hurt so i tell kobe i tell Jaime, my freaking balls hurt they're like oh you just got blue balls I, I didn't know what that was at the time, so I really didn't pay no mind to it. So all that goes by, and uh, all I remember is coming back to the cabin after going to Bucky's and going into the restroom because it was so cold outside. It was about 15 degrees all night uh, when me and her were kissing, and Jaime was complaining about his toes being cold. So yeah, we we went. We decided to go to the uh, Bucky's that is a little away from our house, and uh, so. We go there, we come back. All I remember is falling asleep, waking up, and she's like, CJ, CJ, I'm like, what? And she's like, um, we just got home from church. I'm like, what time is it? She's like, it's 12. I'm like, oh, snap. So I've been asleep that long. Man, I must have really been tired. So after all that, after all that, all that, ooh, we, 
We gave her her stuff bag, blankets, etc., all that, some clothes she let us use. And so we went back home. And me and her have been talking and talking and talking. I never went back. We've just been talking and talking. I don't know why. She's got to hate me for some reason, saying I was lying about a lot of stuff. So I guess she started hating me. And her parents found a condom in the cabin, so her parents knew that we were there. And uh, she never wanted to talk to me again. And so she blocked me on Snapchat. She blocked me on Instagram. She blocked me on all that stuff. And so, one day I was riding around with my friend Tomas, and then uh, her parents saw us. I was like, oh crap, let's run. So, we were riding bikes, and so we rode to this tractor supply. And her parents came in right behind us and said, what the fuck are you doing by my house? And cussing me out, I'm like, oh, okay. I, I didn't want to cause no drama. And then Clarissa's yelling at me, like, yeah, don't ever come back around our house and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, um, okay. Like. You want to say that when you was on my tip all night, like, for real, for real. But I, I wasn't going to say that in front of her parents. I don't want to be no douche. Uh, I was really thinking about it, though. And uh, till this day, she's like, she basically hates me. Uh, I don't know why. I see her I see her about every day, though. I don't know if she's seen any of these stories. But if she has, oh, well. That's basically it. Four cold cabins. Uh, Maybe one day I'll do a, like one video, but that'll be like at the end of this year if I want to do that. And uh, I might I might end up telling another story called Tunnel Vision. I don't know. That, that My friend Ashman wants me to tell it. I don't know. But also click the, uh, wait, wait, subscribe right here. Click a video right here. And uh, I'll see y'all next week with a track me vlog. Peace. I want to say at the end of this video, Clarissa, if you're watching this, you be hating for no reason at all.